Well, good afternoon guys. Uh, this afternoon came to the ranch. Uh, I'm going to be working inside the house instead of outside. Uh, I'm going to be working on that poor body Chevy project, but not on the body itself. I'm going to be working on the wiring harness. Uh, we're getting closer to finishing that thing up. I don't want this harness to give, it, give me any issues, so I'm going to go through the whole harness, clean out all the connections, replace any of the spades or the female uh, connectors on the you know, all the connectors, whatever, just go through them and make sure that the harness is going to be functional once I install it. Uh, it's a little dirty. I'm going to clean it up. I'm going to use a whole bunch of black tape and stuff like that. I'm going to solder wires, whatever it takes to get this harness to, way it's, uh, to make it work, basically. I'm not going to replace it. I'm going to be using the same harness. Uh, since I went from a long bed to a short bed, I do have to shorten that connection from the fuse box all the way out to the tail lights. So uh, let me go ahead and uh, show you guys. Well, guys, here on the table I have both harnesses: uh, the one, from the short bed Chevy donor, and the one from the long bed. Uh, I do have to make the one on the, for the long bed work because it has extra wires. Not only does it actually uh, make the tail lights work and stuff like that, but it also your fuel pump comes off of that harness also. So. Let me go ahead and uh, go. I'm going to go to town and get whatever I need, solder, stuff like that. I'm going to be using my little Weller soldering little pencil. I'm going to be using the shrink uh, little shrink tubes. And uh, I'm going to make this harness look somewhat new. I'm going to replace all that little uh, flex shield thing on it. And I'm going to be working on the harness that goes inside the cab. Look at all those wires, guys. Uh... I'm pretty sure we'll figure it out. So let me go ahead and uh, get started. Well guys, uh, this is the connector that used to be on the short bed. As you can see, it's got green, lime green, ye um, yellow cream, it's got a dark green, and a brown. Those are the wires for all your tail lights. And, and we have, let me flip it around. You have same lime green, same yellow. And then at the other end, you have the same dark brown and dark green, but then you have these three additional wires in the center. These are the three that power up your fuel pump. So these are the ones that we have to get repaired. And if you follow the harness, Voila, on this one you have a connector that supplies power to your fuel pump. All right, that is the only difference between these two. So basically, we have to get this short bed wiring harness repaired and we have to add this connector to it or vice versa, get the long bed repaired and shorten the wire going to the back of the truck. The difference is like maybe a foot and a half. So let me go ahead and uh, get to this one. Well guys, I uh, went to the store real quick and bought us some stuff. Uh, what we got here is uh, butane for our little porch. Bought me some little uh, picks, kind of like dental picks, to undo these harnesses. Bought us some of this, uh, what's it called, wire conduit or whatever. I bought two little rolls of this. Electrical cleaner. Protector. tape and some solder so let me go ahead and get ready to get all this started let me go ahead and fill this up oh guys uh, I like using this little weller little uh, soldering pen it's a uh, runs butane and as you can see 
that little thing lights up pretty badass and that tip is going to get hot in no time so let me go ahead and uh, get started guys Here guys, I'm gonna go ahead and use this connector. I'm not gonna undo the male pins on this one, but they had uh, tied some wire here. And uh, I guess the fuel pump had stopped working. Maybe the relay went bad, something like that. And they just rigged it to where whenever the ignition was on, fuel pump will kick on. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna cut out the damage section I'm going to expose new wire. All right. I'm going to go ahead and turn on my torch. Let it warm up a bit. Get my heat shrinks. And running into this one. On these, I don't twist them. To where you're gonna have a clump. I twist them on each other. But I leave Three-eighths of an inch of exposed wire. Get my soldering iron. It's not warm yet. There we go. And there we go. Solder went into the wire. I'll leave this thing on. I got another one to do. But I don't know how close it was, guys. But I got that one done. Well guys, uh, this now looks a lot nicer than what it was. I took care of the solder joints here and basically now, I mean, okay, one wire is out of the loom. Uh, I'll take care of it with tape and just tape it up a bit. And all the part that goes under the truck, I wrapped it in black tape to try and keep as much moisture and debris out of that loom. Hopefully protecting those wires just a little bit more than what they were. So I got this uh, rear light and uh, fuel pump harness taken care of. 
Let me go ahead and uh, pick out another one and start on a different area of the truck. Well guys, uh, there's our fuse box to tail light to fuel pump harness. Huh? Got it all a little wound up, ready to go back into the truck. Let me go ahead and pick up all the trash, whatever we're not gonna use anymore, get it out of the way. And we can go ahead and continue with the next one. Guys, uh, this harness here is the one that goes inside the cab. It goes from the fuse box to the OVD connector to the little buzzer, the little flasher, headlights, stuff like that. Steering column. So let me go ahead and uh, this one. I found nothing wrong with this one. So I'm just going to clean it up and uh, basically just kind of tape up little areas and just make it look nice. And uh, of course, a lot easier to feed through the little holes, stuff like that. So let me go ahead and clean this one up real quick. Oh guys, there's the harness that goes under the dashboard to your fuse box, steering column, light switch, and all that good stuff. So let me go ahead and roll this one up and label it and continue with the next one. Well guys, on this area right here, which is uh, inside the truck under the dash, there is a wad that water wires that I removed that used to belong to that radio, to a radio. And right now, uh, they did a whole bunch of splices here. I mean the water wa wires are not color coded anymore They put all green wires and they tied them off on this side Why they did that? I do not know So what I'm gonna do is since they have them all taped up and they probably just twisted the wires together I'm gonna go ahead and cut into all these. I'm gonna cut them Expose new wire put them on solder them and put a little uh, shrink wrap on it uh, to give it a better connection. I'm going to go ahead and solder them in place and clean up all this and tape it all up so it's, it looks a lot nicer than what it is right now. So uh, let me get my stuff ready and uh, start. Now that we kind of resoldered all those little con connections that were really, really bad, uh, I'm going to go ahead and start taping it up, make it look nice, and uh, continue. Well guys, uh, I'm just going to continue doing what I'm doing. I'm going to go ahead and fix the rest of the harness. And uh, I'll let you, uh, I'll, you guys will see why I do this when we go in and try and install this harness. Uh, I'm not doing it to make it prettier or whatever. I'm doing it because it'll make it easier for me to actually squeeze it through and run it to all its, all its locations. Alright, so let me go ahead and continue on this. I'm going to stop recording. I'm just going to be doing the same thing over and over again. We'll come back when I get ready to install this thing. Well guys, I got all my uh, wires already uh, taped up and fixed. Except for, except for the headlights. Since I'm going from a, two, uh, from a single headlight to a dual headlight system, I do have to swap out those wires. They'll, they'll, that's the dirty one you see on top of that bundle. 
I can't work with that one. I'm going to have to create a new one for the dual headlight system. But the rest, it's all taken care of. So tomorrow, let's see how it goes as uh, we actually get all those wires back into place on the cab and fish them through and uh, to, to the proper locations. Well, guys, uh, I'm going to go ahead and call it quits for the day. I haven't been, been feeling that well. Uh, I got... I'm hoping it's just a flu or something like that, or, you know, cold something. I am going to go get tested for that COVID tomorrow just to make sure it's not something else but the flu or whatever. I do have to show up to work. Uh, I don't know if they're going to allow me to stay or they're going to allow me to take the day off or what, but I'm going to go ahead and stop what I'm doing now. Uh, well, I'll just get back to it uh, tomorrow. So, uh, well, guys, thanks a, lot. thanks a lot for watching. Like and comment.